Welcome to this video lesson. This is the full solution to the first vector lesson, which focuses on writing vectors in component form. In the practice question, we're asked to write the following vectors in component form. So let's focus on vector A. I will redraw the vector here. This is vector A. It's got a magnitude of 20 newtons, newton being my unit. And this is going to be its x component. It's going in the east direction. And this is going to be its y component, which is going in the north direction or the up direction, vertical direction. My angle here is 45 degrees. So my first step is to figure out what is a y and what is a x. What I have to use is trig ratios. So I'm going to start with a y. A y is the opposite to my angle. And I know that since this x component is going in the x direction and y is going directly up, the angle in between is 90 degrees. And I can use SOHCAHTOA. Since a y is the opposite to my angle 45, I have to use sine of 45 is equal to my opposite, which is a y over the hypotenuse, which is 20. And if I were to rearrange this, I get a y is equal to 20 multiplied by the sine of 45. For AX, AX is the adjacent to my angle. So for adjacent, I will use cosine of 45, and that is equal to AX, which is my adjacent side, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 20. And if I were to rearrange this, I get AX is equal to 20 cosine of 45. Note that in this question, I am writing everything from the very beginning. So I'm using the SOHCAHTOA here. But in future cases, I am going to skip the first step and go right into the second step. This is something that I want you folks to get used to. And whenever you have a right angle triangle and you have your hypotenuse, if you want to find the component uh, the side component which is adjacent you will you can you can skip this step and go right into this I hope that with enough practice you know that when you can always go back to this step when you forget it but I do want you to get good enough in math that you can just go to this step and whenever you have the opposite side you will use the hypotenuse multiplied by the sine of the angle to finally write my vector vector a has two components. It's got an x component and a y component. Because my coordinate system is positive in the x and y direction, and since this component is going to the right direction, similar to my x, it's positive. And since this component is going up, similar to my y component, it is also positive. So my two components here will be ax and ay. And the units is meters. I will write that in the next step. If I want the exact value, if you know, if you have done enough trig, then you can, you know what sine and cosine of 45 are. Those are special angles. So you should get 10 root 2, 10 root 2 here. And my unit is Newton. And I will make sure that I leave space between my value and my units. And sometimes we can write the unit outside of the brackets as well. If you're writing this in a calculator paper, you can also estimate this in three significant figures and you can write it as 14.1. This is rounded to three significant figures and my units are Newton. For uh, question B or vector B, we are not going to draw it out again. I will label my x positive x and y components here. And I will break this down into components. Here, this will be my x component. I will label this as bx. And this will be my y component. And this will be my by. So 
vector b will have two components. It will have bx, and bx is positive because it's going the same as the, my positive direction here, but by will be negative because it's going opposite to my y uh, coordinate system there. So this would be negative by. So whatever value I get for by, I will just write that as a negative. For bx, I will calculate it just right here actually. So bx is adjacent to my angle here and my hypotenuse is 70. So this is 70 times for adjacent, I use cosine of 60 and by is the sine. So, and because it's opposite to my angle 60, I have to use sine, so it's hypotenuse multiplied by sine of 60. If I want to write the exact solution to this, cosine of 60 is 1 over 2, so this is going to be 35, and sine of 60 is square root of 3 divided by 2, which is negative 35 in this case, because it's divided by 2 multiplied by root of three and my unit is in newtons. If I want to write an approximate answer to this, then this is approximately, well, 35 is the exact one, and this one would be negative 60.6 .6 using three significant figures, and my unit is in newtons. Just a final check for my solution you can see that my magnitude is 70 you can see that because of this angle my x component is smaller than my y component so we can see that this is 35 this is 60 in terms of magnitude this is a bigger magnitude so this seems okay and in terms of direction x bx is going in the same direction as my positive x direction so this is positive and by is going in the opposite direction as my y and therefore it is negative our final part of the question is to write vector c in component form so i'm going to draw it out first so i'm going to have a coordinate system i'm going to label this one e as my positive x and north is going to be here, that's my positive y, and this is going to be the west direction. I will draw my vector. My vector starts from the north direction, and it moves 70 degrees towards west, so that's in this direction. And the vector has a magnitude of 40 meters. Drawing the x and y component of this starting from the origin for my y component I start from origin and I move up Until I hit the te I hit the head of the vector and then I move in the west direction This way so this is going to be my cx value and this is going to be my cy value Okay, my coordinate system is positive in east direction and y direction. And my vector is going to have two components. It's going to have cx and cy. Now, the x direction is going opposite to my positive coordinate system. So I'm going to write that as negative. And my y component is in the same direction as my positive coordinate system. So it's going to be positive. To find the value of Cx, I have to use Sokotoa, and Cx is right here. It is opposite to my angle, and for opposite, I will use a sine of my angle. So I will multiply the hypotenuse, which is 40, by the sine of 70 and this is a negative value because it's opposite to my it's opposite to my positive x-axis and for my y value my y here is adjacent to my angle so i have to use cosine so this will be 40 cosine of 70. 
angle 70 is not a special angle, so I don't know the exact value to it. I will just use my calculator and I will get this as a negative 37.6 in three significant figures. And I will get 40 cosine of 70 as 13.7 in three significant figures. And my unit is meters for this question. Note that alternatively to this method, you could have calculated this angle as 20, drawn this as CX, and this would be adjacent to the 20 degrees. So you could have used 40 cosine of 20 for this, which would give you the same value here, and it would be negative because it's still going opposite to our positive x-axis. And for this one, it would have been the opposite to our angle 20 here. So it would have been 40 multiplied by the sine of 20, and that would still give you 13.7 for the y component. This is to say that it doesn't matter whether you start from the origin and you go in this direction towards the end, or whether you go in this direction. Your components will be the same either way. I hope that this video helps you get some practice in turning vectors into their component form, and thank you for watching.